welcome back to Sunday School of Kingdom Praise, the LLJ7, right guys? Yes! Oh, we come back with another Sunday School lesson this morning. I know it's a beautiful day out, so get up and receive God's word this morning. Um, the Bible verse is at the bottom of the link. Um, follow along with us this morning. Um, I'm excited for God's word this morning. I know everybody had a beautiful weekend, beautiful week. Um, today is such a blessed day to be in this house. Um, but we're about to open up and what, well, guys? Prayer. All right, prayer. Everybody bow your heads. Bow your heads too out there. Whew. Hello, Father. Thank you, Father, for another day. And you, Father, thank you for the beautiful day in this house, Father, thank you for the sun that's out right now, Father, thank you for shining on us, Father, thank you for shining on the things that you got us through, Father, thank you for the shop, the, 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 thank you for shining on our blessings, Father, thank you for, for getting us through another week, Father, thank you for the children that's in this house, Father, thank you for our apostles over this house, Father, thank you for the people that's watching right now, Father, thank you for the people that's receiving this word each Sunday morning, Father, thank you for thank you for you just being you father and we bless your name amen amen all right so let's get started on the lesson right guys yes yeah. yeah. all right I, they pumped up this morning guys look they ready for father's word this morning hallelujah, hallelujah. did you hear that yes all right let's get started now today lesson is on the Queen of Sheba. So let's see what Father is trying to say this morning about the Queen of Sheba, right? Yeah. right. Yes. I'm excited. King Solomon's relationship with the Lord, for which he was blessed with wealth and wisdom, had caused his fame to grow. When the queen of so some his his fame caused him what was it his what was it again his fame his um his uh you want to say it again okay. King Solomon's relationship with the Lord, for which he was blessed with wealth and wisdom, had caused his fame to grow. When the queen... Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. His wisdom was going to grow and his wealth was going Caused his fame to grow because his wisdom with the Lord. So what they're saying is that Father had gave him a lot of wisdom, right? So... The wisdom that he had got caused his fame because father was overloading him with a bunch of wisdom so he can share the word with other people, right? And he didn't he didn't had riches, he didn't had all the blessings, all father then overflowed him with all different blessings, right? Right? Yes. Donnie? Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Who came to hear some wisdom from him? Because Father said when it's wisdom somewhere, someone always going to reach out to hear some wisdom, right? Yes, sir. If Sheba heard about him, she came to ask Solomon some difficult and serious questions to test his wisdom. So who came to test his wisdom? Come on, say that's class. The Queen of Sheba. Sheba. So she came to ask him what difficult questions, right? Yeah. Cause she wanted to test to see is, is this man really wise, right? Is is this just a hearsay? Or let me see, is this a real thing? So that's what means she really tested because she wanted to hear and see it for herself, right? Yeah. All right. She arrived in Jerusalem with a huge caravan, including camels that were carrying large quantities of spices, gold, and precious stones. 
She came to Solomon and talked with him about all that she had on her mind. Solomon answered all her questions. Nothing she asked him about was outside of his understanding, and he was easily able to explain everything to her. So, when, oh, oh, we need some other people with their hand up this morning, because God is still moving in this room. So, before I can get out what I'm going to say, so when she showed up, she had diamonds and everything with her, right? She had all these different things with her. But when she came, she asked him some difficult questions, right? Yes. yes. Was he able to break everything down? Yes. Was he was able to explain everything that she wanted to know? Yes. All right. Sitting in the presence of such a wise man of God, who commanded such wealth and respect, made her feel in awe of him. The Queen of Sheba said, When I heard about your achievements and wisdom, I had to see it with my own eyes to believe such a person could exist. Now that I am here, and I have met you and seen your kingdom, it is clear that your wisdom and wealth far exceed all reports. So, she was shocking, right, to see that it, he really exists, right? Mm -hmm. She like, I can, you got it all, wisdom, riches, you have it all, right? Yeah. Like, she said, it do exist, like, so she's still really shocking, and like, she just, like, overwhelmed and shocking that it really a man, a God, have all this in one, right? The queen continued, How happy your people must be to have such a king. How happy your officials must be to serve someone who is so wise. Praise be to the Lord your God, who has delighted in you and placed you on the throne of Israel. Because of the Lord's eternal love for Israel, he... So she's saying, like, how happy your people to have you, right? To be able to serve such a man like you, to serve such a person that have all these gifts, that have all these riches, right? Like, she like, they are blessed to have you in their presence. They are blessed to have you and around them to give them that wisdom, to make sure that they're not lacking nowhere, right? He has made you king to maintain justice and righteousness. So she just said that Father made him king so he can maintain justice and righteousness, right? Yeah. So he is, is he doing Father's job? Yes. He doing what exactly how he want him to do it, right? Yes. He is walking in his path that Father put out for him, right? Yes. All right. To seal them in friendship, the Queen of Sheba gave King Solomon large quantities of gold, spices, and precious stones. Never again were so many spices brought in as those the Queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. Oh, and she came with gifts, right? Yes. To seal their relationship, right? Yes. Because you have a relationship with Father, you want to seal it, that I believe in you, right? I am going to do your work. But she came with gifts, and Father give us gifts as we able to prophesy, be able to move and help others when someone when someone else can't um, move and help others. They are gifts because that you able to move in what he wants you moving. So she came in sealing with with gifts like diamonds and precious 
um, stones and spices. She came with all the gifts because she wanted to make sure that that she was for real in her relationship with him, right? She wanted to make sure that thing was sealed, that you are someone now that's special in my life, right? Yes. In addition to the Queen of Sheba's gifts, ships from Ophir brought gold, precious stones, and special wood that the king used to make support for the temple of the Lord, and for the royal palace, and to make harps and lyres for the musicians. So much almond wood has never been imported or seen since that day. So, kings, he sent wood, special wood, right? Backwater, so she could put on her whatever that she was going to be building, right? Yes. And that special wood was never seen again that day, right? Yes. yes. So that was one type of special wood that he gave to her. But see, guess what? He, as well, that she still, her side of her relationship with him, he still, his side of his relationship with her. She came with gifts. And he sent her with gifts, right? Yes. Only special kind of gift that the friendship can seal with each other, right? King Solomon gave the Queen of Sheba all she desired and asked for. In addition to the gifts he had given to her as his new friend, she then left to return to her own country with all the people who had accompanied her on her journey to Jerusalem. See, that was beautiful. They had gained a friendship only because she came to see was this a real person. And he is a real person. And he filled up all her needs and fulfilled everything that she needed to hear and see at one time a game of relationship, right? Yes. Alright. So our our they got to stand up fast. My favorite part about the story is when he when she gave him the gift and when he told her um the stuff all the answers to her question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So, with 
about this saying today is you don't know who is watching you from the distance. You don't know what what people what people are really saying about you. Because when you're doing his work, they only had to say something good about you. See, he was doing what what she heard. So when she came to see that she was he was doing exactly what that what she heard about him, that he was doing father's work. He is a wise man. He was given good wisdom. He was serving father. He was that man that was doing everything that the people heard. So father saying today is let let his work do over what you think that you're doing. Because what I mean about that is that you, as you keep doing father's work, all they will see is Father in you. So let the people receive what they really see that you're doing, what type of work you're doing for him. Don't try to do the work so you can be show and tell. Do the work so people can get saved, that people can receive relationships with Father. Because at that moment that she she received and received, received and still a relationship with Father in him at the same time. Because at that moment that she received Father because she saw Father in him. Because he was doing Father's work. So you might be that person that that person might come looking for you. Be ready to give a gift. Be ready to seal that relationship. Be ready to move in their life. Be ready to fulfill all their questions. Ready be ready to refill all their needs at that moment when they come to you. Be ready for the people. Be ready for what will Father got for you and your path. Because he didn't know that, that, that she was going to be coming in his path. But guess what? Father had him ready. Father had him ready to receive and to give. So when she left, she had everything she needed. And when she came... She got everything from him, right? And some things that she got that was so that was things that was never nobody else could ever get, right? At that moment, because everything that Father has for you in your life is for you. It's not for the next person. It's for you. And once when, when you move on, what he got for you, that you can move on to help someone else to get what they need. So Father needs you to be ready so you can seal these relationships. So he can you can seal up giving. You can you can seal up even receiving the right things in your life, not the wrong things. Be ready. Stand up for what he having you do for the people. Stand up for what he having you do at this moment. Right now, he having you to receive this message. Because today, this morning, I know that someone's going to come to your path. And you're going to have to seal something at that moment. So someone they can get closer to him. Not just get closer to you. You don't want them to be closer to you. You want them to get closer to Father this morning. So let them receive this message. You receive the message first. So you can move on and receive the message for the next person. So the next person can move on closer to Father. And that's what's going on this morning. You never know what Father has for you right now. You never know. Who Father had eyes on you so you can give that wisdom to him. So be ready to share that wisdom and have a blessed day. And don't stumble the ball. Don't stumble over Father. Pick that thing up and throw that blessing across the yard and have a touchdown this morning for Father, not for you. And we love you and have a blessed one. And we will see you next week with another word so you can help someone else. Have a good day.